If you're a longtime follower, thank you for your views and your comments. If you're new, consider subscribing. I've been watching SPY and doing analysis the last couple of weeks that has been very, very, very accurate. And I'm really happy about it. That's why I keep making these videos. I know I said I wasn't going to be here doing videos as much, but I am because, well, it's going really well. So why not? I've been pointing to this diagram right here of a motive wave. And I even have a little arrow up here showing where I believe we were at when we encountered this 411 level. And what would follow would be this big leg down, and we are starting to get that. If you watched yesterday's video, I cover this bear flag and what I was expecting, and this is the move I was expecting, almost to a T, perfectly. We even got this little gap through here between the open and the close from yesterday and today, and now we seem to have formed a corrective phase in a measured move down, which is a three-wave pattern, which will lead us down to 370. The first leg of the move being about $15, and if the second move is of the equal height, we will get there, and this will be the... I believe the third wave in this motive wave heading down. I'm truly, I truly do believe we are going in for a Tesla low. SPXU is an ETF that trades inversely to SPY. It is the short ETF of SPY and it is leveraged, which is fantastic. This price makes it easy for me to trade with my small brokerage account. I do believe we are heading into a larger three wave and we are currently working on a a, an extension of that wave. Today we had a gap up and a push down and we will see this move higher. This analysis is exactly the opposite of this analysis. They trade concurrently or, congr or congruently, but inversely. So today I did a very good job. I, I entered into calls yesterday, price bounced up. I took profits up here towards the highs of the day. Well, more, more at the, like, the medium price of the day. And then I actually flipped the puts and rode this dip down. Fantastic. I don't really trade AMC or APE anymore. I hold only one share of each in solidarity. I think a lot of people are losing a lot of money. And I just want to show uh, my support. I think people are being taken advantage of by, I don't know who, maybe it's brokers, but the influence is definitely coming from social media to get people to trade these securities. And they're losing money, lots of money. And the analysis is always stated as such. I sold my position up here at 26.10 when I forecasted this top. And we now have seen a huge nosedive. And I think we actually have one more leg to go down. Wave 4 having recently completed. And now we start to see the construction of a new motive wave. So looking for more downside at AMC and Abe and SPY. If you like this analysis, if you want more, if you want to know what my trades are, join the Discord server and also join CapVision below. Then comment your Discord username on a members-only post under the community tab, and I'll give you access to the private channel in the Discord server where I post my trades, my charts, and you're going to get a lot more information. I'm going over the bond market. What I see going there is huge. I have a huge thesis on the bond market now, and I'm trading it. And my position that I opened yesterday is green. So if you want more info on that, hit join below. That's all I have for now. Enjoy your weekend. Happy trading.